Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you Wix Portfolio Website Tutorial. But before we start, hurry up and check out these offers just on this video. So let's get started. So if you want to add a Wix portfolio into, or if you want to create a portfolio using Wix, well, this one is quite easy. You just need to specify the details at the very start here so that the price is going to be quite split. So first things first is you want to go to Wix.com and just log in into your account. Now, in your account here, since we want to create a portfolio, let's go and click on the Create New Site at the top right here. And just wait for a while. That's going to ask you if you want to use AI to start or set up uh, your website. Let's go and choose Set Up without chat here because we want to control what's going to happen. Now, this is where everything starts. Now, it's really important that you specify what type of website that you want to set up. So if you want to set up a portfolio, you just need to type in or choose Portfolio in here. But we want to take this a bit more or a bit uh, a bit more. So in this case, in, instead of you just saying portfolio, maybe you want to create a creative portfolio or if you have a journalism for uh, journalist portfolio here. So go ahead and choose what type of portfolio that you want to use. Like for example, let's go and choose creative portfolio. And once we're done, let's go and continue. Now, why do we need to cho choose the correct one or really describe what you want to create in here? Because depending on what you've entered in there it's going to recommend different apps that you may want to install or use here so uh, our website is now ready to go now in here it's first going to ask you to enter some details about your website so the website name so let's just say it is going to be my portfolio now you can go ahead and just add whatever name you want let's go and click on continue and from here you can go and choose the apps that you may want to include now, for here, uh, in here, by default, portfolio will be added. So this is the default app that you could use on Wix. But if you want to add, like, for example, your Instagram feed, or if you want to add some blocks, you can go ahead and do that as well. But we are good with this one. Let's go ahead and choose continue. And from here, it's going to say all set. Let's go ahead and click on continue to dashboard. Now, I'm going to give you some overview here on what you could view on dashboard. Now, it's going to redirect you to the setup page here. Now, by the way, at the left side is our, your navigation, so different settings that you can access here in your website. So this is your dashboard. Now, the setup page here, this is where everything starts. Now, you want to complete everything that you are going to see in here. Like, you can go and start deciding your website, adding, adding products to your portfolio, and even, like, adjusting your SEO here. So this is uh, the five steps that you need to set up in your website. Now, by the way, for the domain here, this is not uh, necessary at first. So if don't if you don't want to use a portfolio, uh, a custom domain for this one, you can go and ignore this. But just keep uh, take note here that it's uh, if you're someone's going to access your website, it's going to say wix.com then forward slash then your website. So it's kind of different. But then again, uh, if you just want if you want to have a free one, you don't have to connect a domain. Now, at the left side here, you have your homepage, which uh, pretty much the same thing. This is just your general information, analytics, the site sessions, the total sales, if you are setting something in your website. Now, by the way, at the top right, you should see the design side option here, which later on I'll be showing you. But if you go to the portfolio section, you should be able to see your projects, collections, or integrations. Now, projects here are going to be your work. Now, by the way, if this is the first time that you're accessing this, it might ask you to set, this, set things up using AI, but let's go and just skip, skip this one. So yeah, how do we set this up? Let's go and click on the, uh, let's go and set up without AI here, the bottom left. Now from here, it's going to automatically add projects for you. So let's go and just select all of them since we want to basically uh, start from scratch. Let's go and click on delete selected here. So we selected all. So if you click on the uh, checkbox here, it should select every project that you have here. Click on delete selected, click on delete. And let's go and add a new one. Let's go and click on add project at the top right. Let's go and add the project. So let's just say it is going to be my creatives. Let's go and click on next. Now description, you can go and add uh, the description for it. Let's just say click on create text. Now you can go and use AI or you can go and just enter or type in yours. Let's go and click on use text here. This is just an example. I'm using AI to make this a lot faster for me. Let's go and click on next. Now basic info, you could go and just add the project type. So let's just say it is going to be some uh, abstract. And from here, you can go and choose the date. Let's just say it is going to be 2025 location. Let's just say it is going to be LA. Now let's go and click on next. Now in here, you can go and just start adding the basic information for, for uh, in here. So for example, if you want to add, upload media from your computer, go and just upload that in here. Let's go and choose this one. Again, this is just an example. I'm going to upload an image that I want to use. Maybe I want to use this one. Click on open. 
let's go and click on done here and i could you could go and add the title for it so this is the cover you could also add other media if you want but we are good for now let's go and click on done click on done here again add more if you want click on done and let's go and click on manage project and as you can see this is now our project now i could go and just organize or add other details if you want to like adding like alternate text to images edit your seo settings which is uh, kind of advanced here if you want to add like location some date the role the project type here you go and do that and if you're done editing it click on save and close at the top right let's go and click on projects again and see what it looks like and yeah let's see this is our project now if you want to add like collections so if you click on collections here this is where you could basically uh, manage your collection so collections are like a group of pro projects that are like think of them like a uh a, like a library so if you want to group them together you could go ahead and just create your uh collections here so automatically portfolio my portfolio is going to have oh we should have a portfolio here uh but if you want to create a new collection click on new collection add the name for it you can go and choose uh the uh project option here you can go and just add a project or manage your projects if you want to add them in here so if you want to hide this collection you can go ahead and do that as well but yeah let's go and click on leave here for now now since we've just added our project how do we start managing or editing a website now you want to go to either home or setup here as long as you see the design site it's up right you should be good so let's go and click or press on it and from here, it's going to ask us, it, do you want to use AI to set up your website or you want to use a template? Let's go and choose template here. And in here, let's go and choose one that we want. Now, there are going to be different options that you could get in here. But as an example, let's go and choose this one. Like you go and click on view if you want to view it first and preview it. But let's go and click on edit since we want to use it immediately. Now, from here, you should be able to see uh the editor itself now by the way the editor is uh using the editor is quite smooth so you would uh easily understand how things is going to work here so i'm going to discuss the uh discuss with you how things uh, are how you navigate the sections here now first things first is how do you navigate here how do you edit existing content well this one's really easy because everything you see in here are, are quite are you can actually edit it so first thing you understand is you have sections now sections are containers for different uh text or images now we have the first section here so if you click on the text here double click on the text it should or you should give you the option to edit that specific text like for example you want to add an s on portfolio or if you want to uh for example let's go highlight this one if you want to change the style, like for some 42px, 60px, or 80px, if you want to make it bigger. So you have that option here. Now I also have the fonts and a lot more. So as you can see, it's quite similar to Word, but everything is like in design format. So yeah, so you can go and just choose whichever design that you want. Now, there are going to be a lot of settings that you can adjust here. And here you go and uh, adjust, uh, adjust it accordingly. Now, if you want to adjust like images, you go and just press on your image here or strip. As you can see, you could go and click on manage column here if you want to manage how they are going to look like. Now, if you want to change the background, you go and do that. Change the color for it. Now, if you want to change like the shape dividers, the design for it, you go and do that as well in here. So a lot more. So there are a lot of, again, like what I said before, there are a lot of things that you could do in here. Now, what if you want to add a new element? Now, if you go ahead and hover over between sections here, you have the option to add your sections. Now, if you go to the left side, this is where you add or start managing whatever content that you are seeing here. So, for example, if you want to add just elements into your section here that we just recently added, you can go and click on Add Elements. And you can go and choose one that you want to add. So, you have text, images, buttons, and strip. So, as an example, maybe I want to add a text here. Let's go and add this heading. Now, maybe I want to add a contact us button. Let's go and click on the plus button here. Let's go and choose uh, the button option. And let's go and choose one that we could choose. So let's go for, choo uh, like, for example, let's go and choose call us and add it in here. Now, by the way, everything is drag and drop. So you don't have to worry about anything. Now, in here, let's go and choose the option here for settings. Now, settings here allows you to change the text for this button, the icon that you're going to use, and also what it links to. Now, if you click on link here, it should give you the option where the button is going to redirect you. Is it on a page? Is it a web address? Or is this a phone number or an email address? Now, you could go and select accordingly. Like, for example, let's go and choose email here. So let's just say there's going to be person. Uh, let's go and just choose this one as uh, person at email.com. 
Now from here, you can go ahead and just choose the uh, email subject if you want to. Like for example, hello. And let's go ahead and just choose the done button. Now once you've added that, uh, you should, every time they click this one, this will redirect them to a an app that allows them to uh, basically use or email that person. Let's go and click on preview here just to give you some idea. So if they click on this one, it's going to basically work uh, it's going to redirect or allow them to email that specific version. Obviously, you need to publish your website first in order, in order for this to work properly. But let's go, go back here. Now, to the left side, if you want to like pre-add like certain sections, like if you don't want to customize a section from scratch, you can go and just use pre-built ones. So if you go and click on the sections here, you have your welcome, about, your team, if you have a team. Like for example, if you want to add like uh, information about yourself, let's go and choose the about section here. And as, as you can see, I just drug drag uh, this one as it's going already. Uh, you are able to start using it and start designing it. Now, obviously, you can go and just select the uh, background or the column itself. Click on change background, and you should be able to change the image for it. Let's go and click on settings, and maybe I want to change uh, the actual image. So let's go and click on the manage columns option here. This one, change background. Let's see what we can do. But yeah, go and just click on the change background option here. Once you click on the image, click on the image button. And let's just wait for it to load up. And let's go and click on upload media. Click on upload from computer. And maybe I want to use one of my images here. So again, this is just an example. You can go and use whichever you want. Let's go and click on downloads here. So I think I have an image that I could use. So as I said, I want to use this one and open it's going to start uploading that image wait for a while but once it's actually uploaded you should be able to select that image click on change background it's going to upload that image as you can see right now so this is just an ai generated image here that we have uh, that i have so if you can just double click on the text here edit the edit edit this in whatever way you want whatever text that you want to use in here but once you're done editing your website you can just click on publish now obviously there are a lot more that you could do in here like for example if you want to visit other pages in your website as you can see at the very top you have like navigation in here like if you want to edit the about section go to the about page here and it's going to redirect you to the about page and start editing it now if you want to change the overall design of your website you go to the site design here now if you want to change the team color team text team page background and page transition transitions you go and do that as well now if you want to add like certain apps so additional functionality so you could go and just use the wix app market now, if you want to manage your business or your apps already have right now, you could go to the My Business section. Now, if you want to add CM, uh, like for example, your media here, if you want to upload videos, images, or CD uh, files like you currently have right now on your website. And if you want to add like CMS, which in this case is dynamic content that you can utilize here on your website, you could go ahead and do that uh, as well in here. But those are the basics, and that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.